G'day, I'm the Thargum in the Man. Remember Tom I used to work for Channel 7? I've known him for well over 10 years. Aboriginals have been eating these mangrove snails for centuries. Paul assures me that they're a good tucker. I'll let you know after tonight. Oh, looking good. Look at that. What a lovely meal. With have a lovely meal here tonight. Got a crab, a few oysters, and these beautiful mangrove snails. And they are beautiful. What do you oh, reckon about that? Oh, better than an oyster. Absolutely beautiful. As the sun sets over Virilia Point, we have to end this journey. And it's home tomorrow. Now this has been a very hard journey, but it's been a very pleasurable one. And thanks to Paul here, a very knowledgeable one, Paul. Thanks. Thanks a lot, mate. He told me all these wonderful, incredible recipes. So today I'm going to show you how to cook a roast lamb in the camp oven with his specialties. I like to use a company called Brookside because it's a very local company. And I, I really recommend people to understand the products that local people give to you. So first of all, We've got some garlic that I've already peeled. Just chop them into quarters. We actually stuff them inside the lamb. Just put little pockets everywhere. Put them in. The flavour is incredible when it's cooked. Now this size roast lamb probably take two to three hours depending on the heat. Both sides. A bit slippy this one. If you like garlic, put as much as you like in. If you don't like garlic, just don't put it in, simple as that. But it does give the texture of the meat a nice flavour. Then I follow up with rosemary on the top. If you've got any left over the garlic, you can just throw it in the camp oven too, because it still does that, that nice flavour for you. Right. Decent sized camp oven. I like to roll around a bit, get the oil all over it. Fresh rosemary. Now we bought this locally, just on the island of North Stratty, coming through. Lovely little shop that we got it from. All locally done. Just stick it on the top. You can run a few on the sides, because when it's cooked it's absolutely beautiful to eat. And what we're going to do now is just put it on the fire, let it sit for about two to three hours. So simple, so easy. We just spread the coals out so they're nice and even. We'll let it sit in there for about two to three hours. Put a couple of coals on the top. And there you have it. In the meantime, I'll prepare baked veggies and garlic beans. You only try the garlic beans. You'll never have plain beans again. Just prepared some potatoes and sweet potatoes to put on the fire next to the roast until they'll be nice and crispy and soft. That's what you need. You need the softness. Never have a hard potato. Nothing's worse. Followed by some nice vegetables with the garlic beans. You want to try the beans. You'll never go back to normal beans again.
this blanch, these beans now, this is my special remedy. Apple cider vinegar mm -hmm. and diced garlic in the beans. Never tried it? No. Nope. If Thank you me. ever have normal beans, you'll never go back to normal beans again. If you'd like a lot of garlic, put a lot of garlic in. If you don't, put at least in it expected. If you just, just like the apple cider vinegar, just put the apple cider vinegar in. But I like both. There's no such thing as quantities and I just go. Just pour it in. Oops. That's it. Sounds good. Stir it around a bit. Try one. Not bad. They're nice, aren't they? Mm. The garlic, you know, apple cider vinegar, just makes it. Gives that bit of a. Not bad at all. No plain beans again, will it? Never. Talk to the missus about that. Well, after two hours of cooking, our roast is finally done. All we're going to do is take it off the fire. How's that the sizzling roast? Just go take it up the table and slice it up and give Marty a piece of it. Yeah, you're lucky you got the bone. Now I'll get some potatoes and sweet potato for you. Yep, thanks. The sweet potatoes that soft is just falling off the floor. Well, there you are, Marty. You wouldn't get this in a restaurant. This is camp oven in the bush. It looks better than restaurant quality. <laughs> That'll do nicely. Well, let's get into it. I'll cut it all up. Uh, I'll just shovel you right there. Is that still on? No, just leave it. Mm. Nice. Beautiful. Hang on, I'll back here. Excellent. I hope you enjoy it. No problem at all.